Hey guys, it's me, Mandy. Welcome back to Two Fat Girls. And I totally got distracted with the TV. I'm so sorry. Um, it's a BBC America marathon of the X Files, and they showed like I, I believe it was all of season one today. And I've been watching it off and on, and right now they're showing the uh, X Files movie. So I'm a mega, mega huge X Files fan. And like, um, yeah, I probably should have totally turned this off because I keep looking at it. But seriously, guys, it's got like. David Duchovny in it, who was like my first celebrity crush ever. I was like 13 or 14 when I started watching this show. And he was like my first celebrity crush. And like he has the perfect fifth season. Okay. Fifth season. X-Files movie. Fight the future. Mulder hair. I mean, this is like the perfect hair on a guy or him anyway. I loved fifth season Mulder hair. I just can't even be to begin to explain to you my love for it. Anyway way distracted, getting way off topic. Um, what I wanted to do is, um, I went to the grocery store today because I was totally out of just about absolutely everything, like everything. Like I had tap water is about all I had to eat. So, or drink, whatever. So I went and I had to buy a whole bunch of stuff and it's just like a little mini food haul. I'm just going to show you like some of the stuff that I bought, not everything. Um, uh, because like I bought the basics, you know, like I had to buy bread, um, what did I buy? I'll tell you. I had to buy bread. I bought watermelon, cantaloupe, bananas, um, my fiber one bars. You know, I bought some Weight Watcher meals. I bought some Weight Watcher string cheese. Um, I bought some DiGiorno 200 calorie pizzas. I don't know if you guys have eaten those yet, but they're really good. Um, but when I got there, of course, like every time I go to Walmart and want something, they never have what I want. Like ever. They never have what I want. Because the last time I went there, I wanted the uh, DiGiorno 200 calorie. They were the Supreme pizzas, and all they had was pepperoni. And this time I still have pepperoni ones left, and I'm like, uh, wait a minute. Okay, I wanted, because I'm, I'm confusing myself. I wanted the Supreme pizza, and all they had was the pepperoni. Okay, and so then I went today, and like all they had was the pepperoni. Because I bought a bunch of pepperoni, and it's like... You guys suck. Like I said, they never have what I want. But I will tell you, like, some of the cool stuff that I got. Um, So, yeah, let me just tell you one thing. Like, the side of Walmart that I walk in on, I always walk in on the food side. And when you walk in there, you go straight into the bakery. And so, like, every time I go to the bakery, I smell them damn donuts. And I'm like, oh, my God, I want a donut, like, so bad. Like, seriously, I can't even explain to you how badly I want a donut every time I go into Walmart. And it's just because I walk in the bakery right there, you know, that's the part you go in first, and I mean, I walk by that cabinet, and I'm like, oh, you, just, you have to take a big whiff, and you're like, donut, and they smell so delicious, and they're such pretty colors, Walmart puts pretty frosting on their donuts, and it's like neon colors, and it's so pretty, and they have sprinkles, and I don't even like sprinkles, I just freaking want a donut, because I walked by the cabinet, I guess, so, I have come up with a solution, and it's my donut, um, I bought these today. These are the Weight Watcher bagels. I, I, I haven't had them before. I've been eating like the, what are they called? The thin bagels that are like three points or something. But these are four points and it's like actually a real size bagel. I mean, this is a real size bagel. Not a, like, not like a bagel that's been like smushed like that and it's super small. So I bought these. So I'll try these. There are four points for one. Um, but one night we had like the whole wheat bagels or something me and Tiff did. And it like when I was just like, I wanted a donut that night. Or actually, I don't know if I wanted a donut or if I wanted to eat Nutella. I couldn't decide. And Nutella is a lot of points, which I bought some today because I haven't had it in a long time. And it's five points for two tablespoons. But like my fake donut that I eat is like, I'll take a bagel. I'll take half a bagel and I'll put one um, it is a tablespoon, right? Yeah. And I'll put like one tablespoon of this on top of the bagel. So like for this one, if I use the Weight Watcher bagel, it would be um, two points for half a bagel. And then like it's around like two points, two and a half points for this. So, I mean, it's like a four point donut, which I think donuts are way more than that. But it like kind of cuts my... Uh, craving for one and I've actually only done this once before but um, I want to I want to do it again just because like today when I walk by the donut thing like literally I wanted to like jump in that cabinet and just roll all over them you know like a cat does in catnip I wanted to jump in that freaking donut cabinet and just roll all over them and like eat them I mean I know it sounds weird but I wanted one so bad and I'm like no just get your stuff just get your stuff and get away from the donut so I decided to do this again and then like um 
I've used it with marshmallow cream too because like marshmallow cream is only one point for a two tablespoon so sometimes if I get like a craving for something sweet and because I mean like I don't really crave sweets sometimes I think I just want it like I'll see it and I want it so if I feel like I need something sweet I this is what I usually get and you can ask Tiffany like she's come in the kitchen many a time and I've had like a big old whopping tablespoon of marshmallow cream <laughs> like a lot I, I actually eat this a lot like I'll eat two tablespoons all the time um, and it's so good and it's good if to put on your fake donut because the first time I made the fake donut, I put Nutella and I put this on top of it. And like Tiffany was like, man, you let me have a bite. And I'm like, no, stay away from my donut. You can't have none. So, yeah. And then I bought this peanut butter because like, I don't know why. Like I got the new little weekly um, thing from uh, Weight Watchers today. And it was talking about peanut butter. And all of a sudden I got peanut butter in my head. And I'm like, I think I want peanut butter. But the thing is, is like it said in, you know, in the new little weekly thing to get uh, reduced fat peanut butter because it was two points per tablespoon uh, but when you figure it up I mean it's five points for two tablespoons and like every peanut butter I've looked at is five points for two tablespoons which is why I have not I have not eaten peanut butter since I started and I'm not like a mega peanut butter fan anyway but I, like I said I haven't eaten any since I started and like that suggestion got put in my head today because it was in the pamphlet so I'm like I'm gonna get some reduced fat peanut butter and I got the great value brand so I've never had the great value brand I'll try it and see if I like it. But yeah, like somebody tell me what about peanut butter. I mean, like, why are they all five points? Like, isn't this one supposed to be better for you, but it's still five points? And, you know, like the jiffy, like the good stuff is still five points. So somebody explain peanut butter to me because I'm peanut butter dumb. Um, what else? Oh, I found this one in the, in the cabinet in the pantry that we had got for Bug. And this is got the jelly in it. Okay, it's like the goobery smucker one, and it looks freaking delish. I'm just going to smell it and sniff it, guys, because I haven't had any. Oh, my gosh. It smells so freaking good. So, yeah. Um, and this one is, for three tablespoons, is six points. So, somebody explain that to me, too. Because, I mean, I don't know. You have jelly in there, too. And... You are probably getting less peanut butter. So somebody, just somebody explain peanut butter to me. Like, tell me what is good in peanut butter that I need and what is bad in peanut butter that I don't need. And, like, what the difference is in peanut butter from the reduced fat, regular fat. I don't know. Because, like I said, I'm not a big peanut butter eater, but I don't know. I'm, I just wanted to show you guys this one because I found it in there compared to this. And I'm like, Psh, I want some jelly with my peanut butter. And this is, like, not reduced fat peanut butter. So which one is better to eat? Tell me. I'm going to assume it's this one because it says reduced fat and that sounds smart. What else? Um, and then the last thing I bought that was really cool that I got like so excited about because um, I love rice pudding. Like I freaking love it. And I used to buy the uh, Cozy Shack one. I think that's what it was called. And then there was a couple of times that I bought the kind, I believe it was by Uncle Ben's, and you cooked it on the stove and it had raisins and cinnamon in it. I used to buy that all the time at Cook It and Eat It. And I have not figured out the points on that one, so it's, it was probably a bazillion points because I think you cooked it with milk. Um, I just try and stay away from it. And then uh, one day I was at Walmart and I saw the Cozy Shack rice puddings, and I'm like, mm, let me try them. And I like figured them up, and they were like four points for a little cup. And to me, that was too much for just that little bit, you know, because if I, if I feel like, me personally, like if I ate one, I would eat two of them, you know, and for four points because I could sit down and eat two of them, you know. So I'm like, no, and I put it back and I left. Well, then today, when I was out shopping, I walked past them again, and I'm like, let me figure out the points again, and let's see if they've changed within a week. Maybe they've gone down, like, three points, you know, like, they, like, the points have changed in a week, you know what I mean? But I, I got my little calculator out, and I'm figuring them up again anyway, like, whatever. And they're four points, and then I'm like, oh, no, I still, I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't bring myself to buy it and eat it. So, I sat it down, and I was sad, but then, when I sat it down, and I looked up, look what I found. This is a Weight Watchers Jello. It's creme brulee rice pudding, and it's two points. And it's Weight Watchers endorsed, and this is a point plus system. So I don't know if this is something new because I don't remember seeing it last time, or maybe I just like, you know, went past it. This stuff is freaking delish. Like I, 
I've already eaten one. It is so good. And I mean, it's not as thick and as creamy as the other one because I'm sure, you know, that other one is like full of fatty grossness that I don't need to eat anyway. But this, oh my gosh, I was like so freaking excited. Like I could have like did a food dance in the refrigerator aisle and, but, and people would have looked at me crazy. But like I kind of squealed a little bit when I seen it because I was like, oh my gosh. Wait, watch the rice pudding. So excited. And my, there are two points compared to four. So even if I wanted to eat four points with a rice pudding, that just means I could eat two of these instead of just eating one little tiny cozy shack one. So yeah, that that made me happy. Yay for rice pudding. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all I brought with me. And I bought like, um, what else did I get? I bought like baked, some baked Doritos. I bought stuff to make some barbecue chicken pizzas, like low fat ones with a wheat crust and you know, all that other good stuff. And, um, but you know how like you write your list out and then you leave your list at home. That's what I totally did. So I got to Walmart and I'm digging through my purse, my list. And I'm like, dear it, I left my list at home. So I've only got one packet of maple and brown sugar oatmeal the Quaker oatmeal one and that was at the top of my list to buy and I didn't get it and I forgot to get bottled water too because I'm weird about water and I don't drink tap water and we don't have a filter thingy like Tiffany does. Tiffany has a cool filter and yeah I need to get one of them so I don't have any water to drink even though I guess we could get it out of the fridge but that's weird too. Is it weird that I only drink it out of the water? Maybe. You know is it weird that I only drink it out of the bottle? Could I probably put water from the refrigerator in a bottle? I probably could. But you know what? It's not as cool as buying it and like twisting it open and breaking the seal. No, that's just weirdness. Just weirdness. Sorry, I got distracted with the XL again. You, you guys want to see my panic face? You know how Mulder's like, you never see me panic. When I panic, I make this face. You're welcome for showing you the panic face. So, yeah, I think I'm done because now I'm just rambling and, you know, sneaking glances of X-Files back there. But, um, yeah, buy these because they're so delicious. And are they new? Are they new? I don't think they're new. It doesn't say new on the thing. Maybe I've just missed them. Uh, like every time I've gone to the rice pudding and looked at it, hoping the points would change. And they don't. There's still always going to be four points. So, all right, guys. Um. I'll see you next time. Remember, buy some Bowie. Bye.